<sighs> what up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, aka Shorty C94. It's been like two months since I made a video. A lot has happened in this two months. Um, first off, I don't live in Cleveland, Ohio anymore. We've moved to North Carolina. <sighs> so that's been like the last month. It's been a process. It's stuff all over the place. But since you know, was setting up a collection like I have, not bragging, but, you know, where it's just hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of shoes. I went with organizing the Jordans first because it's still the biggest single collection I have within my collection. So I've still got probably, even with me selling some stuff, because we had a going away kind of garage sale slash farewell event at... Um, our house, I probably still got about 350 Jordans. So the only one I could think of, I know I sold some Jumpmans and I, I know the only Air Jordan that I sold because I just didn't care about it anymore was the um, 72 and 10 Jordan 11. I just, you know, shout out to uh, my boy Will for buying that. But anyway, you know, it's been it's been a lot. You know, I've left Foot Locker. They were willing to transfer me since I was a manager, but I don't know. With everything still being set up, it's just a lot of stuff. You know, and I just I have too much stuff. Um, I couldn't really give them a return time of when I would be able to start. So that's just kind of a brief. You know what I mean? Why there haven't been any any videos? Uh, currently filming in the uh the new house in the dining room so anyway you see this right here it's goop so the reason why i have this is because on monday after i got all of the it was really sunday going into monday um I got all of the Jordans set up and I wanted to wear these, the sport blue sixes. I haven't worn this shoe in years. Honestly, I think I probably, cause it's not even, you see, it's still pretty icy. I've probably worn this shoe maybe four times. Um, it's a shoe where it was definitely one of those cases where I was only getting it because it was a, a OG color. I'm a huge Seinfeld fan, and if you're into Seinfeld, Jerry wore these a lot um, from, like, 91 all the way through, like, the very beginning of 93. He was still rocking these, as well as other shoes, but um, one of my favorite episodes where he helped Babu uh, with his restaurant, you know, he was wearing, he was wearing these. But anyway... I go to wear or go to grab these, should I say, and this happens. Look at that. So even though I have managed several shoe stores in Cleveland, like a lot of people, I'll be liking to remember you know, how much I paid, where I got it. So I put the receipt in the box and you definitely shouldn't leave the receipt, I guess, right up on the shoe because the ink will... It'll be kind of like the effect uh, a sponge have when you, like, wring it, I guess. It'll kind of bubble up, and it will leave a stain on an icy sole. I've seen people go through this with 11s and 6s. So, <laughs> I haven't looked at this shoe in years. So, and you know, I'm, I hit my dude up uh, in Cleveland at Clear Soles. He's like, I've never seen anything like it. So, I did a little research, went on YouTube, and found that this is a common thing and this is really the only stuff that'll get it out um my wife offered to put nail polish remover on it or you know just other stuff but i didn't even want to chance it you know this is the stuff people keep uh talking about and when you go online it says that walmart carries it but they never seem to have it in stock it's kind of only where you can order it so I wanted to get it without having to wait. So 
the place that had it was uh, Harbor Freight Tools. Um, they were about 12, 13 miles away, but, you know, um, so we're going to see how this works because supposedly, um, anyway, we're going to see if this actually works. Um, there's a big lots right next to Harbor Freight Tools, so got a little kitty toothbrush. And now we are going to see if it works. I've heard that it works instantly. I've heard it takes a few times. Um, So, I just got to figure out how to open it. So, anyway, again, y'all see the stain. Um, so, I'm going to, you know, keep y'all updated on how this goes. I'm not going to make y'all wait for me to figure out how to get this open. So, until next time, I'm going to probably shoot a video probably... What's today? Saturday. So probably Monday or Tuesday, I'll put up another video, you know, looking at the progress of this, if this actually works. Because it's not like this was expensive. It was like $4. But again, I've seen several YouTube videos where guys specifically use this stuff. So I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for bearing with me and not unsubscribing because I haven't posted any videos. Again, it's been a long a lot that's happened. I think the last video I posted was when um, I was able to find my wife to tie dye ones in Youngstown at Kicks Lounge. But um, anyway, wish me luck because I love sixes. I don't really see too many people wear this colorway anymore. And again, I've only worn these a few times. So for this to happen, and I'll be honest with y'all, you know, it, even if it would have been on the menial side, like if it had been this, I still would have wanted it out but it wouldn't have been as dire a need as the outside of the shoe, you know? So I will see you guys soon. You know, be blessed. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you already aren't at shortyc94. And this video is definitely, um, you know, I, I lost my aunt yesterday. And um, this video is dedicated to her. So I will see y'all soon. Peace.